Hey everybody, uh, it's Monday, glorious Monday, don't have to work today, I had to work Saturday and, uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, I'm actually getting, uh, they added a couple more weeks on, or a couple more days of work on this week, so I'll be working four days this week, so, there gonna be a couple days, there won't be any, any review, but, uh, I'm gonna do another one, I'm trying to get these out of the way, that, uh, the IPAs anyway, out of the way, that, uh, my subscriber and friend Robert sent me. I'm going to do the Stone Ruination IPA. I actually have done this before, um, over 400 reviews ago. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd forgotten about it, but it's one I picked up on one of my uh, barbecue judging trips um, into Illinois, and uh, I couldn't find a date on that bottle, and I think it was a little old. It's still got a 9 out of 10, so um, this one I do see a date on it. It says, um, Enjoy by 3-11-13, so it's getting close to the best by date, but uh, uh, it's still not there yet, so hopefully it's uh, a lot fresher than the other one, and uh, let's get it in the glass and see what we have. Just a classic stone. I think it's a slightly different stone cap, but I've got, they have so darn many different, uh, different caps. I'll pour it into my snifter here. We got a nice, um, nice, cl almost clear gold. Um, got a finger of a kind of a fluffy, foamy white head. Uh, good looking, good looking double IPA. Um, yeah, I forgot to read from the website. It says, so called because of the ruinous effect on your palate. This massive hop monster has a wonderfully delicious and intensely bitter flavor on a refreshing malt ba base. One taste, and you can easily see why we call this brew a liquid poem to the glory of the hop. Those who seek, crave, and rejoice in beers with big, bold, bitter character will find true, true Nirvana in Stone Ruination IPA. Um, comes in at 7.7% .7 ABV. They just said on the website it says 100 plus IBUs. So, get every drop of this delicious uh, goldness in there, and uh, let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, there's lots of uh, lots of citrus, uh, tropical. There's pineapple, mango, a um, little pine. Uh, got some floral, earthy notes in there. A little bit of sweet caramel. Um, it's kind of mostly. And there's just maybe just a slight hint of alcohol, but not much. Um, it's biscuity. Got got that. Pineapple, uh, tropical scent, uh, orange, grapefruit. Um, yeah, there's like some, maybe a little mixture of citrus, uh, flesh and rind from the, from the, uh, from the fruits. So, really, really good hoppy smelling beer. So, let me give it, give it a taste. Wow. Yeah, you get. Just a, a slight sweet malt right up front, and then, then those uh, bitter, fruity hops come in. There's, um, like on the nose, the pineapple, the mango, uh, grapefruit, uh, a little lemon. Just really nice tasting beer. Just a little bit of malt there. Like a caramel, maybe almost butterscotch undertones. But this is definitely a, definitely a hot forward beer. It's, it's pretty bitter, particularly on the finish. Yeah, maybe just a, almost a hint of mint in there too. In amongst those generic uh, floral type herbal notes. Um, it's bitter, but it's not not abrasive. Um, uh, it's really, really, a, really a nice uh, double IPA. It's got a medium to medium full, uh, really smooth mouthfeel. A um, little dense, uh, almost creamy. It's just really, really nice uh, mouthfeel. Uh, there were a lot of bubbles sticking to the glass when I first poured it, but those are about gone now. So. Let me sit, sip on this a while, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. 
Okay, I'm back. It's only been 15 minutes or so. Um, I just been sipping on this. This is definitely a sipper. Um, this would not be a this would not be a session beer. That's for sure. Well, I could probably do a couple of these over you know two or three hours, but um, there is so much going on here in this that uh, and that that bitterness. I mean, this is this is unlike. Um, that uh, 90 minute IPA I, I just last did that's you know malty and sweet and bitter at the same time this is not a uh, this is not a balanced beer this is definitely hop forward uh, those hundred uh, plus IBUs are definitely showing up it's not extremely bitter it's not gonna not gonna rip your tongue off or anything but the hops do let you know they're there um, really good beer I'm probably going to be another half hour at least, half hour, 45 minutes to finish this. But uh, this is a really nice, good Imperial Slash uh, Double IPA. Uh, it's good to look at. Um, got a delicious aroma, delicious taste. Uh, is it a 10? Uh, it's getting close, but uh, like I said, uh, the one I did... 400 plus reviews ago. I gave a 9. I'm going to bump this one up to a 9.5. Uh, fresher, I'm not sure what kind of uh, lead time they give on their Best Buy dates, but uh, fresher, it might be uh, it, it might be closer to a 10 on tap. I'm sure it probably is, but uh, 9.5 out of 10 for the Stone Ruination IPA. Thank you again, my friend Robert, uh, subscriber Robert. Uh, for these great beers that you sent me. Um, thanks to all my subscribers again. This is, you're the people that make it, uh, make it definitely worthwhile. That's for sure. So, till next time everybody, cheers. And let's keep drinking those good beers.